and of oblivion, you are less than nothing. Adric Trinket can't defeat me. I am Molag Bar, the Lord of Domination. What is this, infant? Do you think your Tori can slay a god? You are safe for now. <clears throat> Something precious to you has been riven from Stonefire's being. I have brought it here for you to reclaim. I congratulate you, <gasps> little insect. Your sting is formidable. You have bested me, and released a thousand times a thousand souls 
back into the Mundus. For the moment, your world is spared. But my grand scheme has only begun to unfold. Excellent. Your power shall prove useful in the coming conflicts. You've made a great and terrible enemy this day. Your world would have been better off if the plain meld had succeeded, had you bowed before me and accepted eternal servitude. I would have protected you. There are worse masters than I. Far worse. You are but a phantom here in my domain, Stonefire. The mortal prophecies of the scrolls have been fulfilled. Leave this place and return to your pit. You have a powerful ally. Did you know that she would bring you here? What future role has she to play in this grand cosmic farce, I wonder? Yeah. Your meddling has already cost me too much. A cursed creature of light and flame. This farce no longer amuses me. Your soul is restored. I can see its light within you. And you have saved your world from a great calamity. But know this, mortal. You have wounded him gravely. It will be some time... As your enemy fell, the one you call Abner Tharn took Chim El Adabal and fled. He returns to the land from whence he came, the place you call Cyrodiil. The amulet's power has been expended for a generation or more. The Imperial will not be able to use it, nor will he profit from it, though he will spend many frustrated years in the attempt. The tear in the veil between Oblivion and Nirn has been repaired. Your world is safe for now. Gone forever. But their memory remains. I can see the light burning brightly behind your eyes. Your friend is a part of you now, just as the strength... Your story has only begun. Molag Ball still has plans for you. In many ways, these events played out to... The war between mortal kingdoms is still ravaging your world, but your true enemies are not mortal. If you are to be prepared for the coming... Con Indeed. When you return to Tamriel, go to the place you call the Harborage. My gift awaits you there. It will allow you to... I have no more desire to keep you here than you had to remain in Cold Harbor. I shall return you to your little den in the wild. Your surviving companions await you there. Are you prepared to leave? We return. The last thing I remember was being overwhelmed. Right, sorry about that. I called in a bit of help to pull you out of there. I do hope I didn't overstep my bounds. He is gone. Molog Ball no longer touches my mind. I'm finally free of him. My Lord Varen, are you injured? I'm fine, Sai. But where is Thorn? I do not hear his steps. Or his breath. He vanished. Ran off, I think. And he took the amulet you chaps found with it. I cannot believe Snow Lily is gone. Why did she do it, my lord? Here now, my good man. Lyris Titanborn is a hero. She gave her life for a noble cause. So Cadwell is right, Sai. We will all mourn her. But it was her choice. Her sacrifice to make. Honor and faith to you always, my friend. My part, Snow Lily is gone, and I will mourn her passing. But my duties are not yet finished. Who can say? I do know that I need time to heal. I cannot help but blame you for Snow Lily's death. Forgive Sai Zahan for his anger. 
Ultimately, it was Lyris' decision. I will travel with Sysa Han for a time. Then perhaps I will return to the Moth Priests. The scrolls may yet have secrets to reveal about the coming days. Though Meridia came to your aid, you must never put your trust in her. Everything she did was to achieve her own ends. It is always thus with a Daedric Prince. The forces of Oblivion will always... Our journey together has been enlightening. Few will ever know of your part in the salvation of this world, but the people of Tamriel owe you their lives. Nay. Don't toddle off just yet. Might I have a word? I take it you ran into Lady Meridia. Lovely woman, charming. We get on famously. While you lot were having yourselves an epic row, I gave her a shout, asked if she'd be willing to help us out if things went badly. The trick of it was the timing. With every blow to that Daedric windbag, you freed hundreds of souls. She was able to catch yours before it. This is delightful. World saved, heroes gone their separate ways, and this knight has a new mistress to serve. Bravo. Couldn't be happy. Smashy. Truly. Ah, fair Lyris, she will be missed. Her light may have left this world, but her spirit lives on in you. Perhaps even in a literal sense. Take comfort in that. And she did give her life to save this world, didn't she? Although I can't understand why you're so fond of a dreadful place. Well, it's horses for courses, I suppose. That's all well and done then. There's just one bit of business left. It's you, over here, quickly. I've got something exciting. 